Okay guys, so I'm here doing a video. I'm trying not to make it too long. Um, it's not going to be along the usual trading cards portion of it, but more along the lines of my collectibles and things that I like to collect. And, uh, you know, one thing I do like to collect is uh, music, different types, uh, cassettes. I've held on a lot of my cassettes over the years. And uh, the reason I'm talking about this is because I got a find recently that uh, I wanted to share with you guys. And this was a uh, dumpster diving find, which I do, I don't know, I don't go far out of my way to dumpster dive, but I do dumpster dive occasionally. And, uh, you know, GameStop dumpsters, things like that, you know, find lots of good stuff in them. So, but one thing I want to show to kind of, I guess, in a way show that, you know, this isn't something that I just had. Um, show off some of my cassettes that I have here. I have two boxes that I pulled out and This particular box that I got here I'm going to show off Let's see I'll just pick my camera up and just show them here real quick These are just some of the ones that I've had loosely sitting in here over the years uh, I mainly listen to a lot of uh, most a lot of industrial music and stuff like that, but um electronic music you know but i listen to a lot of different types of music but um more importantly just to show you my cassettes you can see why again the collection i'm going to show you here is you know something that i actually found um these are tapes a lot of these i've had since i was very young uh this is an old cassette cleaner these things are pretty cool and uh i have a couple of these these are the things you used to use when you wanted to hook up uh cd player and you can even hook up mp3 players to your car through auxiliary so get a phillips one and this is a panasonic one pretty cool um back in the day when you would get cassettes there were cassette singles just like there were vinyl singles and that's what these are here so here's like a folk implosion one natural one these a lot of times were solid color cassettes they weren't clear um, even the in the 90s when uh cassettes cassette singles would be solid color and this is my Nine Inch Nails one here for closer. It's got a live version of March of the Pigs. Not even sure if you can get that live version of March of the Pigs anywhere but that single. And this is one for, um, it was Skinny Puppies Remix. Oh, this one is clear. Huh. Skinny Puppies Remix this temper. And it had some other stuff from the plastic uh, sampler too. Sarah McLaughlin, other bands from the network. Oops. For just a second, let me get this back in the case. I also have some, uh, you know, cassettes I made when I was real young. I used to call them rock tape and would make them here. And then also have tapes that my uh, wife made me when we were teenagers. And then this was like a tape of Mutant Dance Party, which was a show that we used to record. There's samplers there. I still have some of these left there. Prodigy Dark Chamber Sessions. Cool mix album. Judas Priest tapes. Some Nirvana. Iron Butterfly. Megadeth. The Funky Alternatives. KLF. And, uh, yeah. Make it that so you can see what's in there. And uh, whoops, one flying. All right, let me get this out of the way real quick. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this back here because I'm gonna just show off a few of my favorites before I get into the, the find that I have here. So these are all my kind of best of the best. Um, I have a couple of these, what are called bio boxes, was made very popular with uh, TVT bands and wax tracks. So I have like KMFDM, the Symbols album, which is known as because of the Symbols, obviously. But these had a look like kind of like a cigarette pack. They were called bio boxes though, and these are what the booklets would look like. So very collectible, and uh, it was really cool back in the day having these. Go goes the same way. I also have a sealed. The uh, shrink wrapping's a little messed up, but the KMFDM original naive uh, orange, not the hell to go green. But as you can see, this is a little ripped here, just from years of having it packed up. But I got this years ago, long, long time ago. Uh, TVT uh, Summer of Loud sampler one year, so it's that same kind of thing. Uh, I got a system machine gun torture technique. Meat Beat Manifestos, Armed Audio Warfare, and the Mortal Kombat, and more combat. Now, the Annihilation soundtrack is a bio box as well, but I don't know where mine is. I must have loaned it out, and it disappeared. 
Uh, can't go wrong with Skinny Puppy, of course. That's the only one I could find over the years that I had a ministry. This is a uh, Dink, a band that I like. Uh, Dave Moak will be produced a lot of their music. This is a demo cassette. Sponge, Riding Pinata. Uh, I've got, of all my Marilyn Manson tapes, that's the last one I could actually find. And my collective soul over all these years have taken very good care of this one. This one came with a interesting uh, color cassette case, which made the cover have a kind of green look to it. You can see it's, it's orange, you know. So I kept that for years. I'm not sure if it's more collectible or valuable, but whatever. So what I'm going to show you here, and the reason why I just went through that, is a find. Now what this is, was I got it through a uh, dumpster dive, like I said. It's a local GameStop dumpster I check out sometimes. And I found these two case logic cases in there. And what they had in them was uh, pretty amazing. I uh, put most of what I found to be the more rare, valuable, sought after in this one. So we'll show you this one first. And maybe take note of a couple of the more important ones. But what it is, is a load of... Uh, you know, I'd say early 90s to late 90s hip-hop. Everything in here is uh, complete. And uh, with the exception of maybe some cases that are a little messed up, like kind of cracks here and there, maybe missing the uh, clasps on the side and stuff like that. And uh, the Wu-Tang Forever box is actually from somebody shoving it into this thing over and over. has actually ripped on the sides. You can see that, you know. But to me, that kind of gives it a little bit more of a kind of authentic or used feel you know but you can see what you got here is uh the wu-tang and you know i tried to put all those together and uh there you go some of these um hold a lot of value actually you know hip-hop cassettes were very popular people you know hip-hop cassette culture i'm sure there's more of you out there that know a lot more than i do about this and about the worth of these and the uh, amount of you know how many people are looking for them and why but i just want to show uh let's see let me pick you know what i'll do the raekwon tape first since this is one of the arguably most sought after cassette tapes in general uh this i don't know if this happened when whoever had it chucked it in the dumpster i don't know if the person that had these did this themselves i don't know why anybody i mean even if you didn't know that they were collectible or worth anything i just don't know why you would throw away this collection of music i i don't know maybe it's me i'm not sure but anyway this is in fact the purple tape so i couldn't believe this was in there actually because uh this thing actually sells for a pretty good amount of money this is the one that has a uh, shala raekwon written right there and on a uh, side one or side two but, yeah, I mean, you can see the tape only is minor. You know, it has a little crack right here, but um, I've tested all these tapes. They all play very well, and the funny thing is they were all rewound. Every single tape was rewound, so I have a feeling that somebody was sat out or something, and the dumpster that I got these from were out back near an apartment area, and I don't know, maybe they didn't have room in their dumpster, so they threw them out. You got, uh, yeah, you got the purple tape. Uh, stuff like this is, uh, very sought after and collected. Uh, things like Ghostface Killer, Jizza. So, I'm saying there is, you know, the condition that some of this stuff is in is, uh, pretty fantastic. I'm trying to keep this video under 10 minutes here. So, uh, what I'm gonna do is. I'm going to cut this short here in a second, and if anybody out there is interested, because I'm looking to probably sell some of this stuff and get this in the hands of people who really collect hip-hop and hip-hop from this time, because uh, I, you know, wasn't really listening to much of this stuff then. I mean, my friends were, and I'd gotten into some stuff like this here, but ultimately, um, this is better off in the hands of somebody who, you know, really loves, you know, collecting stuff from this era and wants these, you know, really nice pieces of music and you know the cassette culture and, you know i mean some of these the booklets are so you know that you can tell somebody just really cared about things i mean I, I have a feeling that the stuff that's busted in here is probably just from whoever slung them into the dumpster really i mean 
I didn't find pieces of all of it in there. So, I mean, obviously, like, this probably just happened over years of opening and closing the tape. And the case just came apart. But, um, yeah. You know. Oh, Christ. All right, so I wanted to show that off. And, uh, let's see here. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, like, there's stuff like, you know, Jay-Z's First Reasonable Doubt, Nas, Illmatic is in here, this Kill Army tape I think is pretty hard to find, Tupac, Biggie, like I said, these are all complete, and if you, um, are interested in anything you see here or want to know about it or maybe would like to see a video of this, uh, more in detail with more, um, I don't know, possibly more... Me break down each tape or something. I, I could do that, of course. Uh, you know, I always like showing off collectibles. This was the other, you know, where I put the, the tapes that were a little bit less collectible, more sought, you know, less sought after. But still, I mean, a lot of this stuff is still very sought after and has a nice value to it. So, if you see anything you're interested in here or, uh, you know, want to talk about it, whatever, let me know what you think. I'm always open to, uh, you know, learning more about that. You know, if you have any, you know, any stories or anything like that, you know. Alright, so thanks for watching. Laters.